what up pals like i'm kai vigino welcome back to another video on my channel if you're brand new to my channel make sure you subscribe and as always don't get to hit that big thumbs up button don't even know what happened there so this video is about comic con and for those of you who don't know what comic con is it's basically a comic convention that happens every year now there are various comic conventions around the uk but the one i'm going to be talking about is mcm comic con that happens in london and it happens twice every year at, towards the end of May and October. The one that's coming up is I think from the 27th to the 29th of October and conventions are typically from Friday to Sunday so the weekend basically and as someone who's gone to Comic Con I think maybe about three or four times I feel like I know enough where I could tell you guys and give you guys a few tips that will help out a lot of you who are going to Comic Con for the first time. So let's begin. So, so if you're going to Comic Con, make sure you plan your way there and back because you don't want to like plan your way there. You get there, you enjoy the convention. It's about time for you to leave and you're like, oh shit, how do I get home? So make sure you plan that out and various other routes if like there are problems with the trains because with transport, there will always be problems at times. So make sure you plan just in case talking make sure all your gadgets are with you if you're taking your phone make sure it's at 100 percent charge because and make sure you also take a power bank with you because the thing is like with your phone you're probably going to be using it non-stop to take pictures or even like find your other friends who are at the convention as well or maybe find out about some of your favorite creators who are at also go into the convention and you check the notification because they may be doing something there and meetups and all that jazz so make sure everything is complete some people they're probably going to take cameras because there will be people cosplaying and you probably want to take loads of pictures when you take your camera make sure the batteries you take they're completely charged and make sure you have multiple sd cards and make sure you have multiple batteries because the thing is when you're at a convention or any big event you may lose track of how much charge there is on your batteries because you don't want to take one battery with you and you think oh this is gonna be alright it's gonna probably last me don't say probably take your battery all your batteries just in case for me regardless of how big or small an event is I always take all my batteries with me and my SD cards because I do not know how much footage I'm gonna record and I often forget by the end of an event how much footage I've got. The thing is you can buy food in the convention center. The only difference is that compared to outside the convention center, the food at the convention center is more expensive and may not always taste as nice as you want it to be. Chances are you're probably gonna have your lunch in the convention. If you are, make sure you get food from outside. Don't worry, they do let you take food in the convention center so for example get make sure you you could get like a meal deal from outside or from or get some food from home for that you can have as lunch because the thing is if you're gonna buy food if you're gonna buy the bulk of your lunch at the convention center you'll be waiting for quite some time because chances are other people would think the same and secondly you're probably gonna spend more money than how much it would originally be from outside the convention so make sure you get your food with you you could get from a tesco any supermarket just get a meal deal that's what i do a lot of the time and it's great because you'll, you'll be saving a lot more money let's stay on the topic of food and by that i mean hydration now if you're going to the convention center chances are you'll be walking loads the convention center is massive and the thing is you don't want to be collapsing and fainting from dehydration so make sure you get plenty of water with you and yeah so make sure you get plenty of water with you so you can stay hydrated the entire time before you buy anything make sure you have a look around because the convention center is huge and you've got two big halls which have different things so make sure you have a look around the whole convention center and make a note of the t stores you want to buy stuff from so if you want to buy something make sure you don't buy straight away my advice is have a look around because chances are there may be stores that sell similar things or there may be stores that sell the same thing but at different prices so make sure you make a note of the stores that you want to buy stuff from and 
Yeah, so because then that way, if you make a note of that, then you can come back to that stall after checking out the rest of the other stalls at the convention center, and then you can actually buy it. I will say the stuff in the convention center, just like the food, is gonna be expensive. So make sure you take plenty of money with you. And there are now with conventions, it's easier if you take cash with you. Like if you get cash with you, it's easier because then you could just give them the cash, they give you the change, and they're done, sealed. But there are some stores that do do card payments, which is which is great, but not all stores do this. And even if they do, there may be problems with the card reader. So my advice is make sure you take cash with you and make sure you have enough. For me, I think the first time I ever went, I took 60 pounds. You could get, take, you could get, take a bit less than that or maybe more if you want. It's up to you how much money you take and how much you're gonna spend. Now, as I mentioned before, you're gonna be walking loads. So if, as you'll be walking loads, you'll need to be in comfortable clothing and trust me, it can get really hot in there. So make sure you wear, you're in comfortable clothing and, as, and also wear your comfy shoes to walk around because you don't wanna be walking around in all, in like maybe all these smart shoes or mega huge high heels because the thing is with that is your feet are gonna ache like crazy because you're gonna be walking loads and you don't want your feet to be hurting like crazy every time you take a step so make sure you're comfortable when you're actually there and as I mentioned you'll be walking loads make sure you also take a deodorant or spray with you so you do, you don't stink like crazy because the thing is you may be meeting people there and you don't want to be stinking like crazy when you meet them giving them a hug you want to smell nice and yeah so make sure you take a spray with you so you're like so you smell refreshed and awesome there are different days you can go i always go on the friday because that's the least intense day and my advice is if you're someone who's going to comic con for the first time go on the friday because it is great like there are loads of people there i wouldn't say it's completely dead but it's easier to meet people it's easier to buy stuff and not worry about stuff selling out quickly so my advice is if you're going for one day best go with the friday because it's the best option as, as it's the least intense day and for all three days you'll you'll soon learn if you're someone who also wants to do other things because there are like meetups and panels that happen at comic-con make sure you make note of those um, and make a note of like roughly what you're gonna do most of the time I don't make a note of why I do I just simply like okay I'm, I only go to one panel and that's one of the small youtubers shout out to them because they are awesome check them out but also it's it's I mostly go around the places that I want and that's it like I don't go to panels I don't go to meetups I just run into people spend some time with them and that's about it Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully this has helped a lot of you guys who are going to Comic Con for the first time. That's pretty much all the advice I can give. There are probably some advice that I don't know about. For example, those who do cosplay, I don't know much about that because I haven't really done cosplay. But if there are any cosplayers who are watching this video, thinks this video is really helpful then sh and you want to share some tips of your own about cosplay or anything like that, leave them down in the comment section down below and some of the things I've said can be applied across the board in terms of tips for conventions in general but not all of them. So yeah, hopefully this video has been really helpful for a lot of you who are going to Comic Con for the first time. Trust me, you guys are going to love it. You guys, hope you guys have an amazing, fabulous day. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're brand new. Give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it, if it's helpful in any way. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of it. Share any tips and advice that you personally want to give that I may not have touched upon. And chances are I've probably forgotten about a few things, but that's just me. And don't forget to share this video with all your friends that they can join in the fun. That's it from me. So peace.